Hi, boys and girls. Today, we are going to hear a different story than the Very Hungry Caterpillar. But this story still has the word, the caterpillar. That's a caterpillar. And this tadpole, another name for this tadpole is called a polywog. The title of this book is called The Caterpillar and the Polywog. It was written by the author Jack Kent. I hope you enjoy this story. I do. Turning into something else like that is not a thing that just anybody can do. Down by the pond, there lived a caterpillar. She was very proud about being different. She bragged about it to her friends. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she said. That's nice, said the snail, who really didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up. I'm going to turn into something else, she told the turtle. I don't blame you, said the turtle, who didn't much like wiggly things, except to eat them. She kept going. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the polywog. Oh, what fun, said the polywog. Oh, what are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way, looking for someone else to tell her secret to. Remember, fish are very smart because they go to school. I wish... I wish I could turn into something else, said the polywog. You will, said the fish. All polywogs do. Oh, what am I going to turn into? The polywog asked. But the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed after it. When I grow up, said the caterpillar, who had circled the pond and was going around for the second time, when I grow up, she told the polywog again, I'm going to turn into something else. So am I, said the polywog. Look at her eyes. She's very surprised. You? The caterpillar was so surprised she almost fell into the pond. The fish said so, the polywog told her, and fish know things because they go to school. She looks a little glum. Oh, the caterpillar was upset. I thought only caterpillars could do it, she said rather sadly. Well, what are we going to turn into, the polywog asked. Well, I'm going to turn into <clears throat> a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Well, then, well, then I guess I will too said the polywog. He said happily, what fun, let's do it together. Ah, all right, the caterpillar agreed, although she would rather have done it alone. But I get to go first. The polywog didn't mind. He wasn't at all sure how it was done. I'll watch you, he said. What is she spinning? chrysalis right so when the time came the caterpillar started to spin uh well if I'm, she was going to turn into a moth it would be a cocoon and that is the tricky part she said the polywog watched as the caterpillar spun and soon only her head was uncovered now i have to close the lid she said and when i come out I'm going to be a butterfly. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, go ahead, go ahead, the polywog said excitedly. I want to see, I want to see you do it. Well, it's going to take a while, the caterpillar warned. And she started spinning again and was soon out of sight in her chrysalis. For a long time, nothing happened. Ah, but the polywog was patient. Do you see anything happening to the polywog? He watched and watched. For days, what do you see here? Right front legs and back legs. And days. And what's happening to his tail? It's getting shorter. At last, there was activity in the chrysalis. The end of it opened very slowly and the caterpillar climbed out. Only she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. She was a butterfly, a beautiful yellow butterfly. looks happy. The polywog was so excited he hopped up and down with delight. He hopped up and down like a frog. I was so busy, Ribbit, watching you, Ribbit, he said. I didn't notice what was Ribbit happening to me, Ribbit. You're very handsome, Frog, the butterfly said as she flew off to try her new wings. She seems very happy now. Oh no, he doesn't now. But the frog was puzzled. Hmm. I thought I was going to be a butterfly, he said. The caterpillar wiggled by. When I grow up, he said proudly to the frog, I'm going to turn into something else. But the frog wasn't listening. Look who he's looking at, his reflection in the pond. He hmm. He was admiring his reflection in the water. I am, you know, <laughs> a very handsome frog. Ribbit.